Hello everybody and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I'm your host Eli McKegg and today I'm going to be doing the movie review for Scream 6. You got a problem here guy? We follow the characters Sam Carpenter and Tara Carpenter, played by Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, respectively, as they try to make their way in New York and try to avoid the trauma that affected them in the prior film. However, the new ghost face comes into play and we're off to the races with this film. And I have to say, this is a very good film. This is a great film, actually. It is a film that is very much dedicated to in what I believe is the horror films that is Scream. Like, there were a lot of moments in this film where I was tense. Like, this had jump scares, but there also were a lot of moments of tension where you're just like, oh my goodness, I wish they were paying attention, I wish they were paying attention, and I was just on the edge of my seat for a majority of the time. A lot of the horror that was in this film, including the jump scares and the tension, were very well done, and I feel like the director's radio silence did an amazing job with this film. I would have to say this is one of the best additions to the Scream franchise, pretty putting it up there with the first and second ones, in my opinion. Another thing that very much sold this movie was the cast. Melissa Barrera, who returns from the fifth one to this one, did an amazing job of continuing to carry that trauma that she had with being sort of the quote-unquote final girl of that film and then trying to reconcile with the fact that, again, she is the daughter of Billy Loomis, the ghost face of the first film. So she's still trying to reconcile that she doesn't want to have any of the darkness that her dad had. Jenna Ortega, I believe, plays a bigger role in this film than she did in Scream 5, when she continues to very much want to ignore the trauma of Scream 5. But then, like again, with the circumstances of a new ghost face, it's sort of one of those things where she has to bring it back to the forefront. And Jenna Ortega, again, she's been killing it this past year and having her in a more prominent position for Scream 6 very much made a lot of sense. We also got the return of a fan favorite Gail Weathers played by Courtney Cox who isn't in the movie as much as she normally is and with Gail Weathers character but when she is in it she is a very prominent part in this film and she's very important integral part to the story and I thought Courtney Cox did a really good job with what she was given in her return. We also saw the return of Hayden Panettiere as Kirby Reed, who was believed to be killed in Scream 4, but she was not killed. She was able to survive her stab wounds, and she plays an amazing part in this film. I thought Hayden Panettiere did an amazing job with being someone that was able to experience everything that happened at the Woodbury, whilst also being someone that ha is having to continue on and have to try to help the new main characters. And I have to say, when it comes to the new main characters, there are a lot of kills. I have to mention that because a lot of the new characters do get killed, and there are a lot of great kills in this movie. There is, this may be a spoiler, but I'm not gonna tell you which character it is, but there is a character that is literally chopped to pieces. And seeing like the image of that is was very cool in terms of, how it was done in this horror sense. And there are a lot of twists in this movie. There's a twist that I didn't expect to happen near sort of this part of the movie. I can't really like, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a twist at this part. There is a twist at this part. There is a twist, 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 twist. And it all deals with who is Ghostface. That is the main um, selling point of all of these movies is who is under the mask, who is the ghost face of this movie, and what is their motivation. And I feel like when we, you get the reveal of who the main antagonist is and sort of what their motivation is, it doesn't really, it, it's not a bad motivation. It's actually a really good motivation. And I really like the motivation 
of the main antagonist. And I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of audience reactions to the main antag the reveal of who the main antagonist is. Whilst at the same time, there is only one thing that I really do have a criticism about, and that's the character that is played by Josh Segura, who is in the movie and who's sort of like a new character for this movie, but he's not in it enough to, in my opinion, to have a substantial character. He's very much a character that is there to illustrate sort of a turning point, but then he's never like dealt with. There's no thing of substance for his character, and I really would have wished that they would have done more with this character. Overall, I really do enjoy this film. I think this is a great addition to the Scream franchise, and it's also a great addition to the horror franchise as a whole. I think a lot of horror fans are going to enjoy Scream 6. Overall, I give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars and 8 out of 10. Next week, I'm going to be diving back into the superhero genre as Warner Brothers DC has really finally released their first film of the year, and that is Shazam! Fury of the Gods. But until next time, I have been Eli McKaig with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News, and I hope you all remember to watch movies.